G'day. Trooper Cody and Steve, quick video, the uniform and what's it all about. So this is the 1914 uniform and what you will see on it as we go over is what the uniform looked like by the time the war ended. So firstly, what we can see up here, this black and white patch shows that it's the third light horse, which is the South Australian light horse. There's an A on it, a black metal letter A. That A was issued to any light horse who had served at Gallipoli. They were allowed to put that A. Whichever light horse regiment they were with, they put the A to show they were originals. Moving down the sleeve, you'll see this single stripe. You are allowed one of these stripes on the left arm for every full 12 months of service done without getting into any trouble or being charged. Full 12 months meant no sick leave, no wounded leave. It had to be 12 months service. Once you did the 12 months, you got one. Two years, you got two. I've only got one here because I think I would have been a bit of trouble a few times if I'd been there. So maybe in four, five years, 14 to 19, I might have scored one. This one down here, this bar here, shows that you were wounded, you were allowed to have as many of them as, the, as you were wounded. The wound had to be of sufficient uh, significance that you were taken out of the field and required some hospitalisation. Moving up, you'll see the lanyard. You'll think, what's, uh, do you really need such a dressy looking thing on your uniform? Well, the reason for the lanyard is that in the pocket is attached to the lanyard, if I can quickly get it out, is what's known as a marine spike. So this was issued from even before the Boer War, issued and of course what it has is the hoof pick. So that is why the lanyard was worn. Moving on to the other side, this patch down here gives a stripe for every year that you served overseas outside Australia and the red one on the bottom shows that you were overseas in 1914. That's what the red one's for. Moving up, you'll see there's a sergeant stripe. In the First World War, 1914, you only wore your rank on the right arm, not both arms as you see in movies and things, only on the right arm. The small R that under there is just a, a token to show that in real life, I actually was a sergeant. That's what the R is there for. Again, moving up, so just the R would not have been on a light horse off a soldier's uniform. Moving up, we see the horseshoe. Yes, it's upside down because they didn't have a luck superstition, but the horseshoe shows that you were a farrier, farrier sergeant. If there was a crown above that, that would show that you were a very much senior type sergeant, but still not a commissioned officer because the commissioned officer pips were up here. So I'll just ask my photographer if I missed something on the uniform, have I covered everything? You've got the rising sun badges on the collar, of course, and the hat. And I think the most important thing about these badges is at the time 1914, when the first contingent went out, they did have they had no black ones, they were all shiny brass highly polished to look spectacular and they had to be painted black in to hide from the sun not reflect the sun so cheers thanks for that till next time